Hey everybody, welcome back to Crafty Made Easy. I have a new toy. It is the Cricut Joy. And it is your DIY best friend. So I know everyone has heard about the Cricut Joy. There's a couple videos out. There's a couple against the Joy. And there are some for the Joy. I am going to tell you why I am for the Joy. And we're going to open up this box. And we're going to have a little fun with it. So stand by. All right, so again, this is the Cricut Joy. It is a, a smaller version of a Cricut, basically. So I do have a Cricut Maker. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let's see if I can move it over. My craft area is quite clean right now today, so <laughs> you may be able to look at it. So this is my Cricut Maker. I love my Maker, but it is quite a nuisance to... Uh, pack up and travel if I want to travel with it. So that is why I brought the Cricut Joy because it is small, it's compact, and if I do any vendor events, I will be able to take this. All I need is basic electricity. Um, I wish it was not electrical based. I guess it would be like maybe Wi-Fi, I, not Wi-Fi, um, battery operated, but I don't think maybe i don't know but anyway you would need an outlet basically so um i think it is good because if i wanted to do like a quick shirt at a vendor event somebody just wanted their name on something or a mug or something simple where i can just do it at a vendor event boom i got it right there so or a couple of quick stickers boom i got it right there um a card or something boom i got it right there so that's why i brought this um cricket joy it, there, it was retail for $179 in the store. If you had Cricut Access, you could get a bundle packet um, with like a few things. And it was like a total of $184. So I did not know about the whole um, Cricut Access bundle and all the other stuff when this first came out on March 1st. Um, but I went to Joanne's, Joanne Fabric and they had a... Um, deal where you brought the Cricut Joy and then if you brought three things or two things you would get um the rest 50% off or everything 50% off something like that so I purchased the Cricut Joy of course and then I got some smart vinyl permanent so this vinyl the smart vinyl you can use it without a mat um then I brought the smart label so this is writable vinyl so you can use your pen and the um vinyl and it'll just kind of write whatever you want on it and then stick it on your um you can stick it on your stuff and then i also got the smart permanent vinyl this one is the 10 foot they have a 20 foot but i just brought the 10 foot the other one is 48 inches long and the, uh, this one is 48 inches as well and then my favorite part of the joy are the cards i love the cards i love the cards i love the cards so <laughs> i brought two packs of them so i think it was by to get the rest 50 percent off this was only like i want to say it was 7.99 um yeah, I think it was like $7.99. I can't, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was not that expensive. Um, it was $7.99, which I was quite surprised that it wasn't that expensive. But it was $7.99, and then you get the rest 50% off. And I think the cards were about $7.99 too, or maybe $6.99. I'm not 100% sure, but I was able to get those 50% off. Again, I brought this back March 1st. So when it first came out, I brought it as like a... um delay birthday present to myself um because i really wanted it and that was like my birthday present to myself so that's what i purchased for myself um what else so i'm not sure if they still have the bundle sale on cricut access anymore or even at joanne's fabric i don't think they still have the um deal that they had before but um at any rate i'm going to go ahead and open up the box because I want to do something really quick to uh, one of my whiteboards. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to use my new baby. So it is Adorbs. 
And I didn't buy this. This was cute. I mean, it is cute, but it's always, it's, like I said, convenient for, like, uh, shows and stuff, like vendor events. So anyway, what comes in the box, this is my first unboxing, as you can tell, because I'm just, like, opening up stuff. But <laughs> it comes with, the, of course, the Cricut Joy, and it's wrapped in plastic. And it comes with, like, this little thingy that was covering up the, um tools and stuff and then it has a little open me thing and i'm pretty sure the open me thing um has like vinyl in it and stuff same as what your other stuff came so it tells you how to set it up it comes with the smart vinyl sample and the bleed and you go to cricket.com to kind of set it up then it comes with uh, car stop a small piece of smart vinyl. Actually, I probably can use this to do what I need to do. So smart vinyl, it comes with a four by six mat. And that's it. So that's all that's in the packet. Oh, it comes with the warranty and all the other good stuff. I did purchase a, which I forgot to bring over here. Um, where did I hang it up at? Let's see, oh, here it is. So I did buy a, a 4x12 mat, and I bought the card mat. The card mat was, I want to say, $5.99. I had to buy this um, from Michael's online because they did not have it at any of the stores near me, which I thought was very strange because... Like, if you just came out with the cards and stuff, why wouldn't you have it in the store? But it was not in the store, so... And when I went to get the Joy, this was the only one they had in the store. She said, um... Because I went on the second to get it. It came out on the first. I went out on the second and got it. And she was like, oh, this just came in, so you just brought our one and only Joy. So they, was, they only had one. I thought that was weird. I was just like, okay. So she was like, we were in stock, and then we're out of stock. <laughs> So, anyway, this comes with the power bank, and then um, you plug this into here, and then, of course, plug that into your outlet, and then plug this part into your joy. So, it comes with the plug, and then it comes with a pin. I'm assuming the blade is already in the machine, because it's not in the box. Yeah, I'm going to assume this is in the this is the machine so that is the box and i probably will keep the box since i want unless i buy like a little carrier bag or something like that um i'm pretty sure i'll just buy like a regular bag where i can put it in um before the time being i will keep the box just in case i don't buy a bag in time for any type of vendor shoes or whatever like that because you know you get busy and things slip your mind and then you just then it's time for the show, and then you're like, oops, I forgot to buy a bag. So I'll have the box. Um, again, I love this exact dough knife. I bought this from a hobby shop, and it is just so freaking smooth. And then this part is so soft, so it don't hurt your hand. I love it. Anyway, take the little plastic off, throw that in the trash, so the cats don't play with it. And then you open it up, and this is the inside of the machine so yes the blade is already in there you take this little styrofoam piece out and it has like a little plastic uh, on it to protect it and kind of take that off and this is the blade just make sure i'm not trying to break it all oh okay so this doesn't even you see this part right here like on the maker that kind of opens up that opens up like that i don't know if you or if i was able to get that this part opens up and then you pull the blade out and then you kind of snap it back in place but this this opens out and then you just lift the blade up so this you don't pull anything out and i'm assuming because it's only one slot You lift the blade out, and then you pop the pin in. Okay. And that's it. Okay. So then, 
I pop the blade back in and then it just snaps back. So the plug is in the back. There's only one little hole back here. And oh, it's on. And you see the light came on there. Alright. So I'm gonna turn it this way. Here we go. Okay. And I kind of have to set it up through my computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly. And over here on maker and there's no buttons on here it's seamless so basically you do everything through your um, computer so that is a big difference uh, from any of the um, computers I'm not computers any of the cricket any of the cricket um, machines I couldn't get the word out so, let's see, let me get out of here. All right, so we are at the computer. We're just going to go ahead and set up this new machine. So we are at the home screen of Cricut Access. We are going to click the three lines, which is going to pull up some information here. And we're going to go to new machine setup. And it takes us to um, the Cricut setup machine. So the Easy Press too. You can set up your Easy Press. Hmm, I did not know that. <laughs> I do have an Easy Press too. Um, I'm gonna come back to that one. But it's the Explorer family here, which is the Air Two. This is the Maker, and then this is the Joy. So I already have the Maker set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the Joy. And it says, place the machine 10 inches from the wall. We do have that already set up like that. It's already, the power is connected. And it says, connect via Bluetooth and system settings. So I don't have it set up that way yet. So I'm going to go here to my systems. We're going to click systems here. And, nope, I think I hit the wrong thing. All right, I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, we're going to hit devices. What in the world? Let's try that again. Bluetooth, there we go. And we're going to add the Bluetooth. Hit Bluetooth. And everyone's computer is set up differently. My, I have a um, Surface Pro, uh, can't tell you which kind, I, I forgot, but it's a Surface Pro computer, so this is the one I have. So it's all Windows based. So this is Joy, really easy. I don't know who Rockville is, but anyway, okay, so my device is ready to go. So this one, like my maker, does not have... For my maker, I'm not sure if anyone else does, but for my maker, it always asks me for like a passcode or whatever. So the Joy did not. It was really easy. And as you see, it is connected. So it's right here. It's connected. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And it's, oh, look, that was fast. That's faster than my maker move. So it's already connected via Bluetooth. It says Joy Bluetooth here. And then you just hit continue. Is going through machine updates. Um, I guess it needs to be updated to their latest firmware. It's telling me to stay connected and power during the update. Hopefully this does not take all day. 
if it starts to look like it's going to take all day, I will pause and come back because I don't want y'all to have to wait too long during this video. It looks like the bar is, well, let me not speak too soon. All right, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and it said, uh-oh. Ooh, I don't know if y'all heard that, but the machine started making some noises. It said, your machine is up to date, success. We'll hit continue. Let's see what else is there. Oh, I just gave my whole email address out. Okay, well. That's my email. <laughs> and it says we are all registered and set up. And then hit next. And it's going to do a test cut for us. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let's do the crown. Um, do I want to do a crown? Do I want to do a test cut? Um, I don't even know if I want to do a test cut. Let's just, yeah, we'll do a test cut. Let's just go on and do it. So I'm going to hit next. And it says confirm the blade is in place with the clamp closed. So we are already showed y'all that. That was already good. And it's saying insert the smart vinyl against the guys up and against the rollers to auto feed. So we are going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to get off the computer and show you how we're going to go ahead and feed it. Okay, so we're going to use the test um, vinyl. As soon as I find it, press it on. Okay, so we are going to um, do what it said, and it said insert smart vinyl under the guides and up against the rollers to auto feed. So. Oh, oh. Okay. Right. And on the computer screen, it says to go. I'm going to show y'all that. All right. So it says. So it says to go, so we're going to hit go. Right, it's moving pretty fast, y'all. One thing I do like is that I do not need a mat for some of the vinyl. I know um, I've seen a couple YouTube videos where people say you don't have to always use a mat on the um, Cricut or even the Explorer. Um, I have not tried it yet. I may just attempt to try it on something small to see if it kind of works or whatever without using a mat but um i have not tried it yet so i'm not 100 percent sure if that is if you're able to do it like that okay and it says text te mm, test cut complete <laughs> you hit next and it tells us to unload so you hit the unload and that's it boom that is it and on the screen it says start designing. So that is it for that design.
Real, that was really quick. Like, really quick. Um, and again, as you see, there are no buttons on here. So everything is based from your computer, your tablet, and your um, phone. So again, uh, let me get out of here on my computer really quick. Um, just click start designing because I wanted to make something really quick. Okay. Um, so that was really quick like in all honesty that was really quick and it was it's a nice size design let me try to because i think like i said i'm going to use this uh small i wonder if you can use i guess you can still use the small piece okay let me uh just cut this really quick <laughs> that got to use the scraps when you can shout that didn't cut all the way through. I put a little more pressure on that. There we go. All right. So I'm going to use this little piece right here for something. But let's see how this smart vinyl reads. So it's a nice size design, and you saw it cut. This is the back of it, and um, it's not as flimsy as the other vinyl pages, but um, you see how fast it cut. So that was like really fast, and it's a nice size design. And like I said, if you do like a lot of craft shows, okay, I do apologize. You won't know, but I want to know. And then I always have to run my mouth and tell on myself. But my phone died. So um, I was cut off. So at any rate, as you see, it did cut out. And we already weeded this part out. And this cut out pretty fast. That's not what I want to use. Um, I brought a new weeding tool. But I'm not used to it yet. So, I brought this little pin thing, but I'm not used to it. It's supposed to pull up stuff fast, but I guess, well, I mean, it's working now since I'm on the camera. Look, I was talking mad stuff about it, but it just, it just shut me up. <laughs> it's so working. So, um... Like, I am not a professional at anything I do at editing or anything like that. I just like to have a good time. So, if you see me clown and mess up, look, I am I am human. I am a everyday crafter, everyday businesswoman, everyday everything. So, I am going to make many mistakes and I'm going to cut up with y'all on this camera and have a good time crafting because why be all uptight when you're crafting like just have fun with it like ugh, people just make crafting so uptight and just whatever like it's fun you're playing with glitter vinyl colors alcohol inks like you're just playing with a lot of fun stuff so why be so uptight and just like blah with it um so i like to have a good time i hope everyone is enjoying this video that i'm doing for you right now i did another video um showing the cricket joy doing the like a little quick statement i finished that one before i finished this one because i had already opened it up set it up and everything like that so it's kind of it might look a little wonky and a little out of order, but um, if you watch that video, you'll see this crown in there, not weeded. <laughs> like I said, my camera is my phone, and my phone said, nope, you won't be finishing this video today. So I had to charge it up real quick and give it some juice before I was able to... Um, move on but i had already started the next project 
at any rate, um, that is the crown. So, like I said, that's a pretty big image. Let me get all of it. I'll peel, peel it off in a second. Um, what size is this? So, what, it's like three inches? Three by two? So, that's pretty fast. And then it has, like, different cuts and everything in it. And that cut really, really fast. So yeah i like it thus far um I, I i really like it it cuts fast it's e it was easy to set up um the only thing is that i don't like is that if i need to write or something like that if, like if i want to use the um smart label i have to pull this out put the pen in have it right and then put this back in and cut versus using the two um things over here so that is like a mm, I really don't like that part about it but um and the part that everything is on the computer I just kind of like the whole I push a button and kind of walk away type thing not be by my computer my phone or my tablet um or whatever but if the I mean if you're on your tablet or your phone it's pretty mobile so you can kind of just go and cut or whatever like that so I mean it has its pros and it has its cons, but right now I really like it. And like I said, for what I attempt to use it for, uh, for like really quick projects where I don't feel like pulling out my mat and putting the vinyl on there, or if I just want to do something really small or um, do something that's not going to take a lot of time to set up the maker and do all of that stuff, I can just throw it on here make it let it cut and then be on my way so i really like this a lot um and I'm, I'm very happy that i brought it so you will see many more videos of the cricut joy if you close it it does not turn off so i believe you just have to kind of unplug it if you um don't want it to stay plugged up all night you'll just have to unplug it um sometimes i leave my maker on sometimes i turn it off it takes forever to um get it reconnected to the bluetooth it's like when i want to cut the, it, the the system doesn't recognize it and all this other stuff so i typically just leave my maker on i'm not sure if i'll leave the joy on um but i'll see because it seems like it was kind of pretty easy for it to set up and so forth so we'll see um anyway that is all for this video today i like i said i will have many many more videos of the cricket joy because i want to get to know it and use it because i mean why buy something that you're not going to use so if you like this video and you are excited or as excited as much as i am that really didn't come out right it's really late and I'm tired, so <laughs> excuse me. But if you are ex as excited as I am about the Cricut Joy, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified for when I drop new videos about it. And also hit the like button if you like this video. And I think that is it. Go ahead and... Oh, also share and comment. Give me comments, comments, comments. I love when people interact and I do talk back to you. So go ahead and leave a comment down below. And that is all for this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your day. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, peace.